Now that we have our scans put in, you can see that they're kind of a jumbled up mess, very difficult to read. What I want to do now is I want to modify some of these scans and remove parts of them that are no longer needed. The tool for that is called Scan Edition. So I'll select on Scan Edition and I'll pick this scan. Now once it's selected, what I have on turned on is called Display Rank. And what this does, you zoom up, is it shows each individual breaking point or point on that scan. The reason why I turn this on is, is because it's going to help me visualize what happens when I break this. So when I come over here and say, all right, I want to divide, you'll notice divide is set. I come over here and pick this node. As Soon as I select it, you'll see what ends up happening is the nodes at this other end renumerate, meaning that at that point it's going to split. Once I select OK, you'll see divide scan, divide scan. And I can just remove that portion of the scan that I don't want, just delete it. And I'll do that again, let me double click on it because I'm going to use it over and over again. I'll pick this scan and I'll zoom up and then I'll pick uh, right there, select OK, and pick this one and I'll come out to about here, select OK. Let me cancel this out and now I'm just going to delete some of these that I don't need. That one, that one. And as you can see, I'm beginning to clarify what exactly is going on for these scans. And I'll do a couple more. Go that one, go there. And once again, I'll delete what I no longer need here and here. And let me clip this one a bit too. Now as you can see I've removed all of that scan on the side that I no longer needed. So just by simply dividing and what ends up happening is the original planar scan just gets hidden. So as you can see now that that's hidden um, I can go back and reference it again if need be, but these divide scans are now much easier to work with. And I can do the same thing. I can divide them again up here, get rid of all this extra curve that I no longer need um, to, to display. So that's another way you can refine your scans. And a good reason to do that is for an example, I'll come over here and I'll refine down to that point, select OK, let me delete this. Now that I have this refined and cleaned up, what I would do is, as a, as a reference, is I can now measure this scan to a, uh, a curve that may lay over the top of a surface. What, I'm, what I would do, in fact, whoops, wrong button, apologize, is I would pick this and try to get really close to where I think the uh, break is for the curve select over here. Now that that is broken, I may come in here for that scan and then use this curve creation on that segment, say interpolation, you hit my apply, and as you can see, I'll get my curve along just that little segment. I may use smoothing on this because um, it's just a relatively simple segment. And as you can see, it's going to deviate some. Maybe if I turn up my uh, tolerance a little bit more, I can turn on porcupines if I wanted to see what's going on with it. You can see that I have a pretty good looking curve. I could also turn on display the maximum deviation and you can see I'm deviating very, very small amount. So I would simply select OK now that I've selected OK, there's my curve, and then I could use that curve as a reference for a surface or whatever it is I need. So putting in your sections, planar sections, your scan sections, cleaning them up, and then generating curves off of them is a great way to go 
to uh, you know some people like using a curve based methodology when they're generating their surfaces so that's a really powerful good way to go for that